In the previous episode, we chased a peasant party for days, got caught by an enemy noble, and lost half of our party, avoiding battle. We raided some peasants to get pack animals and mounts to ride, and began the strength buildup of forest bandits. Now, we have the opportunity to take out some peasants. I think we should probably do that. Man, it is raining so hard. Our guys are moving really slowly, and they can't hit squat. Man, look at that. The rain is just destroying their combat skills. That guy just took, took a javelin to the foot for two damage. Let's get our cavalry involved here. All right, we're gonna lose some people here. I think if we don't, if we don't help. Yeah, these guys are completely surrounded. Oh, the morale! They have no morale. <laughs> oh, they instantly broke. That was like three or three or four kills, and they all just started running. Oh, there's Hussein. Get him on your donkey. <laughs> Look at this guy. Such a goofball. Oh, we don't want him to kill that last guy, so... Nothing of note here. Oh, no, he killed him. Crap, he killed him. We didn't do it fast enough. I was looking at some stats. Yeah, he killed him. <laughs> oh, well. Now, somebody's got a bigger grudge against us for doing that. That's fine. And Force Bandits are getting stronger. What are they at now? 231. Yeah, we can't really give these guys away just yet. Actually, we'll probably keep them, to be honest. We can just donate stuff. We did get some small throwing axes, so maybe we'll give that to Hussein. I know he's not really using them, but he doesn't have any skill for it, but that's fine. I'm kind of torn between donating stuff and just selling it because I feel like we do need to stack up some cash. We've got 60 troops that we can take. It's going to get really pricey, but that's fine. We'll just donate stuff for now. And 315, so we're 30% way there. Almost. Actually, is our criminal rating high enough? No, they won't let us hide. Let's keep moving. And again, we want to leave all of these guys alone. These force bandits, they're not going to be our targets. Here we go. These looters will help. Yeah, it's crazy how big of a difference the rain makes. Like, these guys would normally have, like, four or five kills at this point, if not more. They didn't get a single kill, basically. Uh, I think they got one, but significantly less. All right, they're all running now. Let's just get after them. All right, no losses, only one prisoner. Man, we need to get our medicine skill up so we can use that perk that keeps their guys alive too. We should probably focus on that actually. And we do have the first brigand infantry. So that's the last of the line here. Let's see how good these guys are. I mean, if they're decent, I wouldn't mind moving these guys up the ranks. We'll try it out. Let's see how well they do. And since they are a decent tier, they might actually get enough kills to where they would upgrade to companions. And I wouldn't feel too bad about getting those guys up because they're not quite as good. Wow, look at that gambeson. That looks pretty nice. All right, so we got some decent gear out of that. Whole arm level 50. We can take the perk here and we are again we're going to be going for the one that's dealing with mounted stuff so full armor tax can dismount also gives us a captain perk when we decide to go that route and let's take out these these sea raiders here we go no rain look at that no rain they hit him on their first volley somebody right in the face right, we'll help them out over the shoulder i think they can probably handle this but i don't want to lose any of these top tier guys oh yeah this two handers making me a little nervous all right, he's starting to turn i think we can get this charge command pretty safely here oh good block all right they can handle it i have faith Oh, we actually lost somebody. We lost a foot pad. Interesting. And we only got one. Oh, we got a Sea Raider Marauder, though. Yeah, it's a tier three. That's not bad. Yeah, let's let's just keep these units. We we just don't have a whole lot of options. And we have a lot of space for an army. So we really should be doing that. I see some pretty good equipment here, actually. Yeah, Hussein's got a, a few upgrades. A bunch of civilian stuff as well. Now, I know we're specking mostly into whole arms. So let's get rid of this sword. I know it's not the best, but we'll use it on the civilian setting. And then same thing for Hussein. Let's do it. Civilian setting, we'll give him that. Actually, you know what we could do? We could even use the side. That thing is nasty looking. And it is considered bull arm. I think this one's probably better, actually. This thing looks like a... It looks good, but the stats are pretty dumpy. But oh, we are getting chased here. A piece of Legion of the Betrayed. Now, normally these guys aren't all that great, but if you look at the Duray military, any of these mods that do the troop overhauls, they're nasty, man. These guys are really strong. So let's look at that Exculator. The Calradian Exculator is a tier four, decent armor, two sets of javelins. So they're not, you know, they're not pushovers. And the Iltana Warrior, these are tier four as well. And again, they've got some pretty good equipment for sure we're going to want to take them on at some point but obviously with 14 bandit troops we can't handle it right now so let's keep picking on peasants and looters all right pretty easy only one prisoner and we'll upgrade another foot pad that we lost earlier all right here we go here's some more peasants let's just keep picking on the peasants Ooh, they want to pay us but we want everything if they were willing to offer 519 they probably got more than that in their stash so let's take them out we've got a real nasty hill here we can take advantage of too yeah look at these oh this is going to be fun hopefully they can aim uphill well they're i mean well they've got yeah look at that first hit smack them Three down, four down. Yeah, these guys are like snipers. Oh no, not the donkey. There we go. Yeah, they're gonna be running right now. They just got smashed. <laughs> All the bodies falling down. Right, 
Check them out. They have only one mule, but most of the, the gain was from the cash that we got. And I'm kind of curious. So we're not donating to these guys by doing this stuff, right? But it says their strength is increasing. So 345, I think before we were around 310. It's, it's okay. It's not bad. I think what we'll do is let's spend some time saving up some cash and we'll just take people out around this area to build their strength up. Like this 15 group of looters should be pretty nice for us. Yeah, really, we need to focus on getting those the mounts because once we get a bigger party, the movement speed is just going to nosedive. We're going to be moving so slowly. So we should probably try and preempt that. These guys are handled pretty well. I don't really care about our melee combat skills as much. This guy's a little bit menacing. Yeah, we don't want that. He already got a big hit on him. Let's go ahead and charge. Uh, we don't want to take all the kills, but we also don't want to get easy, uh, lo you know, losses that we could have avoided pretty easily. I'm going to get a javelin for him. Actually, you know what? Let's let him go. We'll re-engage him, see if he'll join us. There's only one left. And we got two prisoners out of that. That's better than what we usually get. And we'll recruit all of these guys. I know they're not the best units, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers right now. Now, question is, can we catch the one? Yep, we can. Nice. And he's going to make us fight, so we'll just auto-resolve. Nice, he actually joined us. We injured him. There's a group of 26 down here. We should probably take this as well. Now, this time we are going to break off a group and then we're going to go with the flank again. So let's see how well this works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave them back here and then we'll move them up manually. Actually, can we get these guys a little bit better line there? There we go. We'll shield wall them up as soon as they can. I want these guys to commit before we move these guys up to the flank. We'll have plenty of time. I'm not too worried about it. Let's throw our, uh, let's throw our javelins before, before we have to spend time commanding. Oh, right in the face. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, they're committed. Let's move up. We're going to set them right on the flank. We're going to have them just bulldoze right across. We should have pulled these guys into a shield wall. That was my mistake. All right, they are starting to kill them on the side. That's good. So the flank is working. Here we go. That guy pushed up, but realized that was a bad move. So now we are at a right angle to them. We can also push our shield wall here. Oh, we did lose one. I wonder who we lost. Everybody's, they're fleeing. All right, we just need to get in there and kill them. Oh, wow, a foot pad. One of our foot pad upgraded. Interesting. Yeah, these guys are kind of trash. So we could take another person right now, and it's basically like a free unit. Kind of debating if we want to do that. I think their their wages are about the same, too, because our default is going to be level one at four dinars per day. So it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I think we should. We're going to take him. So let's go foot pad. And again, doesn't really matter what we pick because we're going to redo their stats anyways. We did lose one. We lost a ruffian. That's not a problem. Three prisoners, and there's one person escaping, so we could probably get him in there as well. And you're not going to be now scarlet for long let's let's get you a real proper name oh we got a good shield here actually iron rimmed kite shield and let's take a look at uh, who we got here so this is jaloledin i butcher that name but we'll try it jaloledin is decent all around not really specialized in anything everybody's got to have at least a little bit of roguery since we're all bandits um i think it's a good start we do have a decent amount of throwing weapons and one-handed pull arms so we can get him started with that and i do like the fact that he starts with a, a club do we have a spear yeah we've got a couple spears here let's give him a balance simple and we're kind of throwing weapons got some throwing axes that'll that'll work you don't need anything for your mounts actually we could give him a mount yeah we should probably do that give him a sumter horse that'll increase our movement speed we can always dismount him just like we did with with our buddy not our buddy our, our brother-in-law hussein hussein jalaladin we are starting the bandit group mighty fine here that, there's no way we're catching this guy he's way too fast yeah he's gonna get caught by somebody else oh he ran right into him what the heck <laughs> i guess he was discombobulated when we destroyed his buddies tiny group of five i don't think we're gonna auto resolve anything here auto resolve is not really generous not the smartest actually jalaladin first blood look at that first battle one kill nice job and we did pick up one hill warrior we should probably spend a little time converting people we are starting to stack up a few prisoners here which we don't really want to do oh uh, we just missed him i think yeah contarian i think they just went in there oh uh, that sucks all right let's check the other one yeah conoros looks like they haven't quite left yet hopefully they don't leave so oh they just left we're not gonna get there in time oh uh, man Ooh. Ooh, that is enticing. It's probably going to be high tier units though. Yeah, there's no way we beat that. We'd have to have like three or four times their numbers considering the, the quality of troops that they got. And they are screaming across. Let's actually get out of here because they are kind of chasing us. So is Feyron with this 300 units. Smart move, dude. Let's try and pick off some of these peasants over here. There's two more stud farms over here we, we can kind of hang around. Neocoris, which one has more hearths? So 227, 444. We're going to go a Goska. This one's going to have more horses when they come out just because they produce more. So we'll hang out right here. Hopefully we don't pick up anybody chasing us. Yeah, go on, pass through, go to Batanian lands where you belong. And we're starting to convert some people pretty nicely here. We got a Sea Raider Marauder. Now we're not able to upgrade this guy until we have Veterans Respect. So he's maxed out, but he does have a two-hander, a Bearded Axe. So he should be a pretty good addition here, even though he's not really high tier. It's fine. I mean, if we lose him, it's not a big deal. Right, let's stay away. We really don't want to get chased. That's going to pretty much ruin any chance we have of catching these guys. Are they on us? 
Yep, they are. God, that's so annoying, man. We weren't even doing anything. All right, well, actually, no, he's going to back off. Okay, cool. All right, let's get back down here. There we go. They're out. Chase him. Get him away. We want to get him as far away from everybody else as we can. Right, I think we can catch him here. Oh, man. Oh, we just hit the edge of that, that wooded area. That slowed him down enough. So we're going to take everything. Yeah, we're not letting you out. Well, there's a big battle going on here. Right, first things first, let's deal with this fight here. This is going to be a, a, probably not a tough one, but actually, they'll probably run before they even get to us. If we can kill enough of them. Oh, <laughs> three, four. Oh, they're hitting everything these guys are really accurate with their throwing weapons i like it right, we can help out a little bit too oh we lost somebody what the heck man these are peasants all right yeah we're losing three people what in the world is going on here all right that was supposed to be an easy battle but obviously the ai had other uh <laughs> other ideas but we're not gonna upgrade anybody oh good hit and we're not gonna let anybody escape because catching that last guy is pretty much impossible at this point so we lost a foot pad a ruffian and we lost a sea raider marauder that's fine he probably wasn't that good anyways hussein did get a little bit of one-handed in there there we go so we got one midlands palfrey it's not much but you know it's gonna add up it's really the only way we get them at roguery 125 we've got a couple options here i don't think criminal rating decrease is going to help us at all because we're going to be at war with everybody which means the base rate is like 0.25 per day if you're not at war with them it's one and then if you're allied with them it's like one and a half per day dk so basically our criminal rating is never going to go away we're going to have high criminal rating no matter what we do so 30 percent higher chance of enemy surrender that's not going to help too much well i guess with the villagers it will but once we get to 150 it's not going to help because we're going to have them convert automatically anyway so let's go scarface oh and actually hussein hit level four i didn't realize that we gotta figure out where we're gonna put these uh i think we should probably boost up control probably to the max i think having really or at least to level seven uh, to seven attribute points that way we can at least hit dead shot the 275 bow perk i think that'll be pretty important i don't want to put too many more points into these until we get these other ones maxed out let's go ahead and max out bow i think that'll that'll do fine for now let's go back keep an eye on the other stud farm maybe we can pick up another horse like i said it's it's gonna be one by one but it, it's just kind of how it is this type of playthrough kind of goes that way so neocoris i think trade bound settlement is zeonica so we can go down here to intercept we want to get ahead of them and as long as we can keep vision of that little symbol as soon as they pop out we can come attack them now while we're waiting though we should probably take this we should probably take this fight right, we're not we don't want to buy anything for me we actually want to attack and this time we're going to go shield wall i think that may be why we lost a bunch of people last time take them out we'll help the right flank maybe we can cause some havoc back here in the back lines yeah, they're a lot more organized when they stay in shield wall. This is so much easier. Ooh, missed. All right, somebody got a javelin. Now, brigand infantry we could upgrade. I think we're going to keep what we have. I don't want to get too many companions right now. Only one prisoner. It is what it is. And we got a few upgrades as well. So our party's starting to come together. I mean, these guys aren't the highest tier. The mountain brigand are really good. Everything else is not that great. So these are really the backbone of our of our party right now. We should probably get a few more of them. And unfortunately, they only had mules. Oh, that's right. This is a different village. That's fine. Yeah, we're interested in Neocortis. And they just left. Beautiful. Now, we are probably overburdened. No, we're not, actually. So we're, we're good. We don't have to worry about much here. Just our prisoners. And Stuart, level 50. We can't use the governor perks. So we're really just looking at all troops 2 xp or just the high tier at four i think the low tier is going to need it more than the high tier so we'll go with that one and we need to scare this guy away off into this wooded area so we can catch him a lot easier yeah we should be able to collapse on this guy now he's willing to give up let's see what is a Cantarian charger it's a free horse it might be worth it i mean if we take him out we'll get the horse anyways probably although that's not guaranteed yeah let's let's take the horse we'll take the horse actually that gave us eight roguery wow they gave us oh interesting wait a second so we got we got more than just what it said yeah we got a hunter another midlands palfrey and an old workhorse we actually got some decent stuff there and we even got some animals so we could chop them up we can keep the sheep for a little bit uh, we are starting to run a little bit low on meat so let's chop a few of these pogs up nice that was a success for sure we got two more mounts like i said it's going to be a long road getting those guys built up but once we get there assuming we don't get captured by big parties and we have to you know release our inventory you know we'll have it for pretty much the whole game uh they just dropped off some stuff so we can't get him let's check out this other one again sagora you know, what is slowing us down here let's take the hill warrior and the brigand yeah there we go so we got some pretty high tier troops in here now we're looking good oh they actually no we're looking at Kentarian. okay they just got out they're gonna have money on them we'll just let them go actually what we should probably do let's head back we don't want to get captured though let's go back home this is our home i mean it's they don't know it yet but it is ours
course. So they're at 290. So they've been losing a little bit of strength, unfortunately. Uh, let's help boost that back up. Yeah, our money is about the same from where we left off. So I, I think it's not that big of a deal. Now, Hussein is still using the sword. Let's go ahead and give them a club. I think we can give the rest of the stuff away. We don't really need the money just yet. We should probably start saving up soon, but I think it's even more important to get our home base going. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of value out of this. Ooh, look at all that. That's a lot. Kind of sad to see it go. I mean, that's a lot of money. We'd probably be at 10 grand or more with all that, but that's fine. 560. Yeah, that's huge. All right, so that, that boosted it up to the point where we do have access to the black market now. We're not going to spend any of our money on this stuff because it's really expensive, but at least we have the option to in the future if we want. Or we could sell stuff to them. They don't have much money, though. I wonder if we waited a day. Maybe that would increase their balance. And also, one thing nice here is we can hide nearby. So we can hide here for a moment. But if we're getting chased like this guy, now he'll bug off. We can just stay here and we don't have to run for, you know, 20 days just to get out into the clear. Now, this guy is way out of his element. Yeah, I was going to say, what's going on here? Let's let's help the force bandit pick out these villagers. All right, we're sending in the Sumter Horse. <laughs> the Sumter Horse Brigade. I wish they would use their pole arms, to be honest. Oh, actually, you know what? I think they're going to throw their, their throwing axes first. That's fine. Oh, we just missed like a point blank shot. That's unfortunate. Oh, boy. All right, now we are splitting kills with the, another party, so let's just get all of this so we can take all their loot. We don't want to share. I mean, ideally, we would have our units getting the kills. Oh, that hurt. But it doesn't really matter. We just need to get the kills so we can get all the loot. And we got all the kills. Nice. So it should be all of our... Oh, we still split it 50-50. Hmm. I don't know why that is. And we take a bit of money. We take a mule. And more importantly, we save the lives of our brothers. All right. Jaloladeen picked up level two, it looks like. I'm not really sure what makes sense here. Technically, he's supposed to be a mounted warrior, but he's not really there yet. So, hmm... I'm thinking maybe throwing. Let's give him some throwing skill. And we could take in a few more of the footpads. So that puts us at 23. That giant party is chasing our guys. Ooh, they got caught. Yeah, every time that happens, that does decrease the power rating of the horse bandit. We just need to get it to 1,000 so we can start the hideout. And then after that, I don't think it matters quite as much. All right, let's move north again, see if we can check out what's going on with these stud farms. Oh, Velios? That's the one. Okay, can we get there in time? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we just got there. So he didn't He didn't want to go in because for some reason, they instead of going in, inside they just run when you're in a certain distance from them so for sure we'll take that so they do outrun us slightly although maybe not for long yeah once we hit the wooded area it's game over for them oh look at that <laughs> we have a whole army chasing us now brilliant right, this guy is heading into a spot that he probably doesn't want to go down yeah he's gonna get caught here oh, actually there's no wooded area here so this is pretty smart for him someday we'll catch him come on come on there we go we got it and they don't want to give anything up so we're just gonna attack right. since it's raining so hard their aim goes down really bad we'll hold fire till they get close about half the distance they would normally throw from and they should be able to at least hit something we want to go back to shield wall now that they're closing the distance oh unfortunately they're going to collapse on some of these guys this is not good yeah we don't want to lose guys to these peasants that would be kind of embarrassing oh he just smacked our sumter horse in the face right, let's let him loose we may not be able to catch him a second time. I'm tempted to let a couple of them go, though, just in case we can. So there's six. That's still too many. If we can catch up to these guys, that'll put them at three. There's a possibility that they give up. The bigger the difference in numbers that you have, the more likely they are to just give you what you want. Well, so three, we'll try it. That's fine. And we can take our final foot pad. 25 units. Not bad at all. Ooh, look at this. This is nice. One charger, one Cantarian charger. These are really expensive and a Midlands Palfrey. So we just got three mounts in that one battle. And it might get better if we can pick up another one right here let's see can we they're a little faster than us but they are gonna get stuck here towards the edge of the map so we might have a chance yeah we'll chase these guys to the end of the map if we have to it's definitely worth it getting those mounts early on all right so we're gonna have to go parallel with them because they are outrunning us oh they cut across yeah they might have just gotten out crap they're significantly faster than we are now because yeah because they have less troops hopefully one of these bandit troops catch them and then we can just speed ahead and take them out on our own i don't think that's gonna happen though looks like we're gonna chase them into enemy territory and get caught again so let's actually just let's just back off. Let's see if they come back. No, nope, we're going to get chased out. Well, we definitely don't want to get into it with the, the Kazates. So let's get on out of here. Now, we are starting to lose money here. So we were at about 6 or 7k. We're down to 5k now. So we should probably start selling some stuff. Oh, we don't have any to sell. All right. I guess we know what we need to do now. Let's split these hogs up. And we get a couple levels of roguery, but our roguery is just really flying. Uh, it makes a big difference with the new patches, the way they added. You can get XP from your troops and stuff. It makes a big difference. Now, two options here. Bandits always join, uh, offer to join your 
party or increased body armor and then you also get less trade penalty a uh, marker connection would be nice for the trade penalty but really we need to bandit parties always offer to join you i think having the fubri mod kind of negates that but it's it's a little cheesy so i don't mind taking the perk to make it like a legit thing so we'd be able to do it in the base game as well without the mod now bandit troops in your party have 10 bonus to vigor and control or villagers when they comply they give you 20 percent more access to their resources we're going to be using a lot of bandit troops so this is going to be i would say probably more important just because they'll have more skill with um like the throwing weapons are going to be more accurate they'll be better with the the melee weapons so i think that's probably the, the pick and we're going to put more points into intelligence another steward that's capped out we don't have to worry about it and let's start busting up medicine so we'll have this capped out by the time we get to 16 yeah that's that's not bad at all all right we got to make some money so let's let's go get some loot now we could have them join us actually let's have them join us and then maybe we can just take on some bigger parties or maybe some some noble like small nobles maybe if we can get up to like 50 or 60 oh yeah 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 let's get this this group of 18 that would be lovely mostly lackeys but there's some other stuff in here too all right that it just completely skyrocketed our wages so we need to go do something that, that earns a lot of cash we got to do it quick and equally important we need to keep getting more mounts because like i said our movement speed is really slow right now you know i think we should probably do is take out some militia Let, let's do that because they're gonna have bow and arrow and we need to get that and if we can get that we're gonna be using companions for horse archers they're gonna be super elite basically like cons guards but in the form of a companion so let's uh let's take hostile action force them to give us supplies we don't want to take recruits it's not a gimme it's it's still you know pretty even numbers we do have the balance of power but we'll probably take some losses here now we can start assigning people let's go ahead and i think i think we've probably got the best perks here not really actually actually nobody gives any bonus never mind all right we'll just go fight it now what we're gonna do actually is stay here in the back they're gonna have some range units yeah they've got 12 archers we don't want to deal with that let's dismount our cab and we're gonna hide behind this actually we'll hide behind this one and what we need to do is split another group out so f3 f5 let's go ahead and go with let's say let's go with 10 troops what do we have here hopefully we got some elite stuff no a couple of elite guys and a bunch of trash that's fine though all right can we get these guys a little bit more compact let's go shield wall and both these guys oh never mind <laughs> okay we did all that for nothing follow us because we got a long way to go now they are going to have the height advantage if you look here they've got a pretty sweet looking hill there but we can move up behind some buildings that's going to give us cover the whole way so hopefully we can get within maybe 50 to 60 meters we'll take maybe a volley or two of arrows and for the most part we'll make it there without without taking too much damage so here we go let's get our guys up here so we made it we didn't take any damage it looks like let's go and get our boys over here oh they're coming okay let's just quickly shield wall right, shield wall uh group two can we send them around the back side yeah group two is going to cover the, the back flank all right they've got some random peasants i don't know what they're doing they're just trying to run through our line but we'll help take some of these guys out all right get them boys we can probably push the pace on that at least a little bit These guys are... Oh, we just... Oh, Jalala Dean went down, but he didn't die. Wow, we got so lucky there. So they're in good shape. Let's get these guys back into line formation. Let's send them around. They can flank these archers. Right, let's go line formation, push them up. We're starting to lose some people. Uh, you know, we're at that point where we can afford it because we can just walk into people and recruit them. So it's going to make a big difference. Alright, group two needs to get up there. Right, let's see if we can hurry this up. We got archers to pick off, man. Get out of here. Get out. Graham. Ooh, we took a big hit. Ooh, that was painful. Okay, we don't want to do that. If we go down, there's a 20, you know, 15 to 20 percent chance we die. So let's not do that. <laughs> Uh, our group two did lose somebody. They've only got seven, but it looks like... Oh, we're going to get shot at here, aren't we? They're, they're getting kills, though. They lost two. Right, we're stuck here. We can't see what's going on, but that's fine. I know I have faith in the boys. They'll do it. All right, they got seven archers. Another loss. Let's help this guy out. Oh, yeah. Grab you. That guy gets his... He's getting his uh, his crossbow out, and he takes a two-handed axe to the face. Nice. Here we go. 
Here we go. So we, we actually did pretty good here. A lot of losses, but, you know, ones that are sustainable. And look at all these level ups. The Hill Warriors. These guys aren't even that good, but they did they did a really good job in this in this instance. All right, we're going to pass. Now, we've got nine deaths. Foot pad, bunch of lackeys, hillmen. So these are all low tier, rough in, hill warrior. We did not lose any of our, where are you? The mountain brigand. These are the ones we want to make sure we don't lose. So pretty good there. A few injuries. And unfortunately, these are crossbowmen. We don't want to deal with crossbowmen because we, we have bow skill, not crossbow. Now, we will take these guys as prisoners. We can donate them. And we've got quite a few upgrades we can do here. Let's see what we're going to do. Now, we're doing foot pad, skirmisher, and brigand. That is going to use a bit of our cash. So that's going to put us down close to 4k. Yeah, that's a little scary. Uh, we do get a bit of loot. Yeah, a couple upgrades in the on the armor. Nothing too crazy. And unfortunately, we didn't get any ranged weapons. I, I don't know. Yeah, we, we need to go fight people that have bows in their militia, not, uh, not crossbows. So we should probably do that. Uh, we do pick up some butter and cheese. That'll help. Yeah, look how much grain we have. We need to diversify our food. Probably do that. And 15% health. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Uh, on the bright side, it is going to help us with our medicine skill. So let's get out of here before we get caught. Villagers of Vallejos. Oh, those are the guys we were chasing earlier. They came back. Can we catch them? We might catch them, actually. Nice. <laughs> we meet again. We're taking everything you got. So four mules, two saddle horses, one cheese, workhorse, grain, a Kentarian chart, and a Midland Palfrey. Nice. So we can actually take that stuff. Yeah, let's um, let's take everything. Oh, they give it up anyways. Okay, so we... <laughs> We intimidated them to giving everything up. So this is a huge haul. Six Midland Palfreys, two Chargers, and the saddle horses are, they used to be uh, speed mounts, but now they're actually pack animals. So a lot of pack animals, but more importantly, we got eight mounts. That's huge. Yeah, we don't want to give up the saddle horses either. So let's keep them all. That was a really good find. Thank you boys for coming back this way. I know we, we chased them forever, but it looks like it actually paid off finally. Now, more importantly, we need to start making some money because we are we're starting to burn through our cash here 240 per day and hussein did hit level 50 one-handed so he's he's coming along nicely i mean that's 10 10 uh skill points since we started now i think we're gonna go with the the mace and axe yeah five percent we'll probably switch everybody over to maces at the end game if they aren't already using it so i think that's probably the way to go now what do these guys have and the coast of the embers Gutatos is the majority of their units what does that look like Imperial Scutat. Oh, no, those are tier five. We're not, we can't mess with that. Nope. No, thank you. Now, we do have some troops uh, or some prisoners that we can give up. Uh, we should probably take some more before we before we go back, though. Yeah, let's take them in. We can use these guys as meat shields. All right, we're just steamrolling these guys. We're at max party size now, so that's going to use up a lot of food, but it'll also give us quite a bit more of uh, the steward XP that we need. Let's make sure we have enough food. Now, there's only 21 militia here. Let's go ahead and let's sell some stuff to them. And then we're going to force them to give us their stuff. Actually, that's too much. Yeah, they don't have enough cash. That's fine. We'll, we'll take it back. So let's go ahead and go to hostile action, give supplies, and we'll take everything they got. Now, we need to split off a few units here. Let's go ahead and go maybe 20. Let's keep them in reserve. Wherever the archers are going to end up, we want to push them to, to go attack. We don't really want to sacrifice our friends Hussein or Jalal Adin. So we're going to keep them in reserve for now. Now they, looks like they're going to play passive here. So let's go ahead and push, we we'll wouldn't push the action. And yeah, we want to force them to attack. So let's go ahead and take this little, this little opening. Oh, not with these guys, with these guys. Yep, there we go. These guys need to wrap around and we'll take out their archers, hopefully. All right, let's not take any more damage. We, we're pretty low health already. So a random stray arrow is not going to be fun to take. Now group one, let's shield wall them up. Group two, we want to stay in life formation, and let's actually hold. We want to get them in as soon as we can, get them back there. Right, these guys should be able to hold their position, no problem. You don't need to waste time with these guys. Get back there. All right, so we are losing some people, but kind of expected. All right, there we go. They should be able to handle Oh, they're running. Nice. If they're running, it means they're not shooting, at least. All right, so we'll keep pushing the pace. Keep the shield up. Get them, boys. Get them. Building them out. And their line is starting to crumble. I think we can safely give them the charge. Nope, they're going to turn. Yeah, these guys. What are you doing, man? Enemies that way. <laughs> they had to think about it. All right, I don't think we need to micro that. Let's micro these guys. This is going to be where we're going to get more value out of. So let's push them in. Looks like they've got very big numbers advantage. I think we can take advantage of it. 
Let's get a few stabs in here. Oh, we're losing a lot of guys. Yeah, those guys aren't able to chase down the archers easily. Okay, they actually caught him. Yeah, 15 against 6, so they killed 5 of them so far. I mean, they're decent units, so I, I don't expect them to kill them all without taking any losses. It's acceptable. Remember, we do have a lot of those the looter-type units, the ruffians. So it's, it's kind of expected. Ooh. <laughs> it's like stuck to his eyeball. Man. Now, bandit footpad, we could convert one of those guys. That might be worth it. Yeah, I think we should. We, we need to keep moving these guys up. So we took 11 losses. Lackey, Ruffian, and... You're in the way, Tex. Marauder. Yeah, the guy that's got no shield. He seems to die really easily. So maybe that's not a really good unit to use. And we've got seven people that we can take prisoner here. So not bad at all. We did get a little bit of medicine. And we got level 25, so that'll help. Yeah, we're going to take all these guys. These will be uh, nice little prisoners for us. And as far as upgrades go, we got Ruffian, Hillman. Yeah, right down the, the tree that we've been doing. Got some decent gear. Nothing really outstanding. We still haven't gotten any ranged weapons. We're just getting the ammunition, but not the actual crossbows. Not that we would use it anyways. We want bow and arrow. So butter, grain, not the best. I was hoping to get a horse, but I guess we got a raid to get those. And we're not really in a position to do that. And Amir Timur, we do have preventative medicine so this is going to help us a lot when we win battles it'll get our, our hp back up 